Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well this morning we're going to do a catch and cook. We're going to do a catch and cook blue crabs. And I've uh, been on kind of a crabbing binge lately. I've been doing a lot of crabbing videos because I've been out there crabbing in the Tomoka River. And on this last pull that we did we got seven. And the video, I'll put a link to that video in this video somewhere. And as people ran my traps again, you'll see that in the video. But uh, we got seven nice crabs so we're going to do one of my favorite ways to cook crabs which is fried blue crabs. And also we were lucky enough to get one soft shell crab, so we're also going to be cooking that. So real quick, check this little clip of us catching a couple of those crabs, and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. One crab, see two crabs. I see two crabs. Alright. Okay. Right, clean all this off real quick. I'm gonna take all the traps home today. Alrighty. See what we got here. Two nice crabs. One's got one claw, one's got two claws. Come on guys, get out. Alright. Got two crabs, guys. Hey right, guys, coming to get trap number three, but this is not where I put it. I see one in there. I see two. Look at the see through them. They ate one or something going on there. Alright. The little one's going to be let go. Watch out, babe. Too bad, guys. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. Here's my blue crabs. And here's my uh, soft shell crab. So what we're going to do, we're just going to use the house saw tree that I normally use. We've got some here in this butter bowl. We're just going to coat these blue crabs. They're already cleaned. So we coat them real good. So about like that. And the key to doing this, is you want to do this ahead of time before you get your oil hot, because you want to give this um, the moisture of the crab to come out with the breading and to make it kind of sticky, which makes it a little bit crunchier. And pretty much, you'll just eat the blue crab the same way you eat the blue crab any other way that you cook it, but just gives it an added flavor being fried. So I'm going to get the rest of these all done and then we'll do the soft shell crab. Alright guys, so I got my blue crabs. My six blue crabs all coated. Let these sit for a little bit. Now I have my soft shell crab here. We're going to do pretty much the same thing. So I'm coat him. And I'm going to lift the flaps up a little bit like that and get the breading in there real good both sides so it's going to look about like that and you just lift the flaps up and get it in there as good as you can there we go about like that 
Same thing on the other side, that's pretty good. And then yes, you're going to fry this whole thing and you get to eat the whole thing. The only thing you do is when you get your soft shell crab, you just lift these up and you pull the lungs out, the little gills out right here on both sides. And that's pretty much, then you eat the whole blue crab just the way it is, shell and all, because it's really soft. This one was starting to harden up a little bit, but it's still pretty good. So, not too bad, guys. Alright, well, while we're waiting for the oil to get hot, I want you to watch these two little clips of how I do my, uh, clean my blue crabs, and also how I cool them down, so it's more humanely when you're cleaning them, so you don't have to kill them or cook them while they're alive. So check out these two clips, and then I'll see you guys at the fryer. All right, guys, we ended up having 12. I thought we had 11, but we had actually had 12. So now I'm gonna ice them down real good. I'll let them sit in here for about five, 10 minutes. Let them get nice and cool. It'll be a lot easier to handle. That way we can handle them and clean them and I won't get bit. So I'll be back in a little bit, guys. All right, guys, we've got another one. Take the leg, stick under here, pop it off. And grab your hand on the leg right here. Grab this horn. And this little leg, about like that. Pop it off. Just like that. Take all this stuff off. All these gills. Rinse all this stuff out. There you go guys, it's a nice clean blue crab. All right, while we're still waiting, as you notice, none of these crabs had claws on them. Because what we do is we take the claws off and we go ahead and boil them and we put them in Summer's little claw bank. This is her own little personal stash of crab claws. And say she doesn't want for dinner what we're having that night, she wants to eat some crab claws, she'll come in here, grab out a handful of claws, warm them up, and there's her dinner. So this is her little crab bank, her old crab claw bank is what we call it. Cool little idea. Alright Jetty Rockers, we got the green light on, so we're going to go ahead and put a couple crabs in here. About like that. Let's see if we can put three of them in here. There we go, there we go. Let those cook. We're cooking the crabs at 375 degrees. Should take about three to four minutes. And this is what you're looking for, guys. They're going to float to the top and they're going to stop rolling boil. It's just going to be this really slow little boil. So I'm going to let them sit in here for like another minute or so and then I'll take them out and they should be done. All right, guys. They should be done now. I'm going to pull them out here. Let them sit for a couple seconds. I'm just going to take them out with my tongs. That's what they look like, guys. About like that. They'll be nice and crispy. I mean, they look kind of funky, but man, these things are good. I'm telling you. All right, we're gonna put our last three in here. We'll put this big jumbo in here real quick. I mean, that's a nice size blue crab right there, guys. Put him in there. These other two. Alright, as these ones are done. Our last three. So you got a little tip for you. If you put them upside down, all the oil will drain out so they won't be as greasy because they're going to be a little bit greasy, which is okay because you are frying them. But that will cut down a little bit on the grease. Put them upside down like that. There we go, guys. All right. That looks really good. So now we're going to go ahead and do a little soft shell here. All right, guys, our soft shell crab is done. Take him out. Alrighty, guys. Well, here we go. Here's our fried blue crabs. We got 
one soft shell, six regulars. So we're going to sit down on the couch. We're going to have some lunch. All right, Jay Rockers. I got my uh, soft shell crab, my fried blue crab here. And basically, you just break the crab apart just like you would any other crab. Just like if you boiled it or you barbecued it. So you just break it in half. Like that. See how it looks inside there, guys? It looks awesome. And what I like to start with is the swimmer fin. I can break that off. And all that meat will come out just like that, guys. It's really good. Now, what I like to do after you fry them, the, all the little shells that's inside the uh, channels here, the body of the crab, they're pretty crispy at this point. So I'll just eat the whole thing. About like this. Man, that is so good. Wow. That is awesome. You know? So you get all of it. Some people wait the legs since they are a little crispy since they've been fried. I don't. I don't particularly like them. But some people do. But the whole body part, you can eat the whole thing pretty much. I'm sure there's some people out there that won't like it that way. And that's fine. But for me and Amber, we don't mind it. It's pretty good. In the summer, she doesn't eat the bodies of the crab. She just eats the claws. And that's why we had that little claw bag for her. Man, that was so good. Well, that's how you eat a fried blue crab. They're really good. Really good. A little crunchy. It's going to be a little crunchy. If you like that kind of thing. Like I said, I don't mind it. If I boil them or uh, do them in the oven, uh, barbecue style, I don't like it. It's too hard, it's too crunchy, I can't eat the whole body that way. But fried, I can do it. Alright, now we got our soft shell crab. So basically, just break it in half, like this. Got the whole crab. Got all that goodness inside. And believe me when I tell you, it is really good. If you have not had soft shell crab before, you do not know what you're missing. Here's the whole claw. Outstanding. The legs are soft. You can eat everything on a soft shell crab. Just make sure you take the lungs out. The lungs are no good. I'm going to take the whole body. That's actually kind of a big bite, but take the whole body, everything. Man. I wish I had so many more of those. One of my favorite things to eat is a soft shell crab sandwich. Awesome. They're excellent. And also, if you're a big sushi eater, you like sushi, get you a spider roll. All a spider roll is, is a soft shell crab rolled up in the, uh, uh, the seaweed and the uh, rice and cut into little rolls. Man. It's awesome. That's one of my favorite rolls to eat is the spider roll. Well, guys, thank you so much for eating lunch with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it a little informative. If you haven't already tried fried blue crabs or soft shell crab, they're really good. You guys should check them out, especially if you like crabs. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys so much. I mean, this channel has grown so much in the past year and a few months. And it's just amazing. I mean, a year ago this time, I don't think I had 300 subscribers. Now I'm at like almost 6,000. You know, like 5,700. 
That's awesome, guys, and you guys rock. I enjoy talking to each and every one of you all in the comment section. It's amazing. So, guys, thank you so much for everything. And so I can see you guys again soon here on the water. Tight lines, y'all. And if you haven't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Hey, Joey Rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Or check out the description in the bottom of this video. I have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.